I'm Christy Myers. A hot British singer is making an appearance in Houston. All these people here will see him in just a moment, and we'll show him to you live. I'll have a live report. And speaking of customers, a lot of them lined up today outside a record store to see a popular music star, causing quite a sensation here in Houston. Well, here's a story that uh, I've got to be educated about. Uh, it, it's an exciting day for teenagers who brave the heat to see their favorite music star. You might be surprised to see such loyalty for a man I've never heard of, and maybe you're with me. Yeah, that's a problem. We're just out of it. No, I haven't, but we're about to find out about it. Christy Myers joins us live to tell us more about this music sensation known as Morrissey. And Christy, I gather there are an awful lot of folks out there who know who he is. You know, Melanie, I didn't hear all of what you said, but you're not just out of it. There are a lot of people that may not know or may have heard his songs and not know Morrissey. That's because he's an alternative singer. He's a British singer. And there are, <laughs> there are a lot of people here who may not heard of, who may not have heard of Morrissey, and that's because he's a kind of a cult alternative singer. And He's here in Houston for this one KRBE promotional tour. So that is why his fans are so desperate to see him. They're waiting for Morrissey, an alternative musician with a loyal cult-like following. So you can be excused if you haven't heard of him. Here is his hot new song called, quote, Everybody hates it when our friends become successful. To these teens, waiting for an autograph was worth standing in line for more than 30 hours in some cases. Josh Grafton and Jody Purvis are number one and number two in line. They got in line at 10 yesterday morning. I'm going to be spazzing. You don't understand what's happening. He's going to come right here. I'm gonna go. But there's been controversy, though. The first 500 were to get wristbands to see him, and these kids thought they were among them. They guaranteed us that we would be able to see Morsi. They gave us numbers on our hand. They guaranteed for publicity. 500 people. 500 people. Then they were told the marks a lot numbers were no good. Only the wristbands would get them in. The security guards who spent the night here, the last night, apparently marked people with marks a lots. But all was forgotten when he arrived. There he was, and there was Josh in line number one with his flowers. 29 hours, 29 hours. And was it worth it? It is so worth it. I can't, I can't breathe. I just can't breathe right now. You think, so? you think you'll live? I'll live. I'll live. I'll live. I met him. I met him. Finally. You hugged him. I hugged, I hugged Morrissey. <laughs> Josh was lucky he hugged Morrissey because they're asking people now not to hug him. It takes too long to hug an autograph, and they're trying to get as many people through as possible. They think they'll get most of the 500 kids that had the wristbands through this line. Next time he comes back, it will be for a concert in October. So those that were disappointed today, hopefully they'll be able to buy a ticket and see him in person in October. Reporting live, this is Christy Myers, 13 Eyewitness News. Oh, we learned something I'm here. I'm informed now. Yeah, but you know what? Things haven't changed that much. Didn't no. you see the girls crying and shaking and stuff? Just like when the Beatles came. So the guys crying and shaking. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, how are the Oilers holding up after their long journey to the Far East? Let's hope they aren't crying and shaking. Oh, I don't so. think so. Well, there's a new star in the ever-changing world of music idolatry. His name is Morrissey. And if you've never heard of him, you're probably a whole lot older than the more than 500 loyal fans who waited for hours in today's heat just to get an autograph. Christy Myers has the story. Paul Carpenter says he loves Morrissey. To prove it, he cut his hair to look like the singer. And he can even tell you... Where he was born, when he was born, uh, what school he went to, the, uh, the events that he did in school, how he was in school. Why did you study all this? Books. He and hundreds of other loyal fans have been waiting since yesterday outside the record rack just to get the singer's autograph. His music is just, it just expresses everything that we feel, and so it just, you can really relate to it. A lot of his words in the songs appeal to my life, you know. It appeals to all the kids, you know, you know like he understands, you know, our, our youth. So, for the unenlightened, who is this Morrissey? I think that's the cool thing. Not many people have heard about him. That's why the cult following is so big. It's like, hey, not many people know about him. We like him. We love him. And as you can tell, he draws a huge crowd. <laughs> Here is Morrissey's newest single. When the singer finally arrived, more than 500 fans lunged to touch him. 
Inside, they didn't just get autographs, they got in some hugs, too. Uh, because I love him. He's opened my eyes to so many things. To what? Uh, his music. It, it just, it gives me a reason to live. I'm trying to keep from fainting, to make sure that I don't faint. And why would you faint? Um, because he's just like a god. Finally, our Morrissey expert, you know, Paul Carpenter, emerged, sobbing you. openly. You know, your hair looks like him. Is that on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> why was it so emotional to you? Get some deep. Bob's great, man. I love you. Overcome by emotion, Paul Carpenter hugged another sobbing fan. They had met their hero. Christy Myers, 13 Eyewitness News. Well, still to come, one fight down, one to go for a new Democratic congressional candidate. I love you. Oh, God. Excited isn't even the word. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm speechless. I, was, I don't know. I've been waiting to meet this man forever, and finally I got my chance, and I'm ecstatic. <laughs> One of the songs that I like in particular is Girlfriend in a Coma. It's kind of a fun song about his girlfriend in a coma. And it, I mean, it's not, it's nothing really too heavy. Oh, I bet that has some catchy lyrics. Houston is one of four <laughs> U.S. cities where Morrissey is going to promote his new album. It is called Your Arsenal. Steve, I, I have a confession. Something? Yeah, I did too. It's not in my record collection. Girlfriend in a coma? Girlfriend in a coma. You heard it. And the guy crying and everything. But then that's how, you know, they were crying over the Beatles too, right? <laughs> they were singing about girls in a coma. <laughs> we'll see everybody. <laughs> I'm only People wanna... are lined up waiting to see the singer and songwriter known as Morrissey. He has scheduled an appearance at the record rack for 3 o'clock today to sign autographs and to promote his new album entitled Your Arsenal. Many fans have been waiting outside to meet Morrissey for more than 24 hours. Many of those guys in line, we've been waiting here since early yesterday morning and uh, we're really waiting to see him and there's been a little disruption but yeah, we I'm hope that... Quiet, but we've got all under control now. And we hope that things will be okay. No, we do too. The record store owner says only the first 500 people in line will get to meet Morrissey, but that doesn't seem to be stopping hundreds who are waiting behind the cutoff point. I don't know what to tell those people behind the cutoff point. <laughs> they don't want to know. They don't want to know. See you later. <laughs> you know, your hair looks like him. Is that on purpose? <laughs>